I made a dozen of videos using the Wondershare Filmora, even if I landed a deal with them. Most of the videos that I produce are either travel videos, my daily vlogs, my cinematic videos, and short films. And in a span of three years, I've made a couple of adjustments in terms of my hardware, my editing tools, and even my editing rig. If you've been part of this channel for quite some time, you all know that I started with a Windows laptop and then I transferred to another HP laptop, which is basically one of the efficient hardware that I bring whenever I go out for travel. There's a time that I I realize there are instances na tumatagal ngayon yung production ko just because of my hardware and the tools that I'm currently using. So last year, I decided to get a new one and invested on a video editing PC. This is actually what we're going to talk about today. See the PC right behind me? That's my new editing PC. Nag-start ako maggawa ng videos just by using my mobile phone and some video editing apps na meron present in the iOS and in the Play Store. After a couple of months, I fell in love with it and I decided to invest some items just for the passion. So I tried to look over for a couple of specifications that I might need since this is my first time na bumili ngayon ng video editing PC. So what I did here, I purchased some kind of a package. So what I have, video editing PC powered by AMD Ryzen 5, an MSI Gigabyte A320M for my motherboard, and then my RAM is at 8 gigabytes with 2666MHZ, and I equip it with a 2.5 SSD. This PC has the Western Digital Blue 500 HDD, so two separate memories ang meron ako. And then I got a power supply under YGT KY750. And since this is a huge and a massive PC, this requires a ventilation. So I got the Coleman Ruby with three pieces of RGB fans. So I guess that's more than enough for it to cover for a video editing rig for beginners. And this is roughly cost 16,000 pesos. I know it's cheap, depende na lang to kasi sa pagkakagamit nyo. And in my case, I'm a beginner, so I don't need to invest that much in terms of the video editing. Now, let's go into professional career. The store actually gave me a discount of getting a different monitor since they can only provide a 24 inch PC. So what I had is an Envision 27 inch curve monitor. They give me some freebies with a mechanical keyboard under Keytech and a mouse at the same time. As you all know, meron kasi on carpal tunnel. So I still prefer to use a vertical mouse. That's why I have two separate mouse. One is for browsing lang in common activities but whenever I start my editing, I use the vertical mouse. And for my audio, I got a Basius headphones since video editing will require good quality of audio. So mas ma iintindihan ko ngayon at magagawa ko ngayon yung mga audio adjustments whenever I do my video editing. For my video editing tool, of course, I have tried several video editing apps and video editing tools, but specifically for my vlogs, I am using the Wondershare Filmora. It all started with Filmora 8 up until to this date for Filmora 12. And yup, I guess that's about it for today. If you guys find value on this content, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss a single episode. This has been Alex. I'll see you guys in the next one.